guys the gaming ram here and welcome back to bmg drive and today we have something special right here in front of us and this is the very first heavy um rotator uh tow truck for bmg drive uh, this particular truck comes from a small creator um and as you guys can see it's a early access truck, so it's not fully developed yet. So, like I say, it's early access. Um, the lights, you know, obviously the lights don't work. It doesn't have a light bar, um, but everything on this truck actually works. It functions as far as the rotator, the boom, the outriggers, all of it works. And, you know, no interior just yet, but they will be creating one in the future. And I'll have the link for this truck down in the description. It is, you can get this truck for yourselves for six bucks. And let's see, we gotta go this way. Turn radius is not the greatest. It, it it does not have the best turn radius. And so we're coming up here to this house here. And I want to show you guys this because this is what we're going to be working on here currently in Tennessee uh, here at the shop. Actually, this truck is going to be going to Utah. So there it is. So this truck was abandoned by this owner's by the grandfather, and they're going to get rid of it now. They're going to sell it, and obviously, we had to go and pick it up. We had to buy it, and that's what we did. All right, so I can show you guys so the way this thing is going to work is you just hit the uh, controls, so... As soon as I figure out the controls for this truck. There's a lot of buttons for this truck. So I apologize. I'm... And so now what I'm going to do is simply. I might take the blue line as well and hook as for like a safety chain. Now I got to figure out what button that's for. That's the blue line. And the blue line is going to be Alt-3. So you're going to hit Alt-3, bring that down, and then we just simply connect it to the truck. And this will be like a safety chain for us because we don't have chains. So I'm just going to use this as chain. Where's my line at? Ah, crap, I got to go all the way around the truck. The back tires are flat, but we're just going to send it. I didn't bring a jack, and I don't have a jack big enough or strong enough to support this truck. It's this one right here. I'll hook that up to it. I hook the... It, it will still work. <laughs> it, will, it will still work, technically. Alright, so now it's going to be Alt-9. And that's just tightness up here. So we got a line for both sides of the truck. And it's basically just a tightness thing down. But we're going to wait because we're going to lift it. And I want to, I don't want to mess it up. So we're going to lift this thing up. Look at that weight transfer going onto the truck. It's a little heavy. There we go. And... As far as everything else, all I got to do now is just really just tighten this, uh, 
tighten up the lines. So that'll be part one. Oh wait, no, part seven. Not too tight because we gotta turn this thing still. Part seven and part nine. A little bit on the seven, I think. Nope. Not too much. And then we're just gonna hook this to the thing. And this is just gonna make it so we don't lose the truck. We're gonna do two, one there. Tighten this thing real tight. Connect that there. And then same goes here. Connect that there. And then this one gets connected there. All right, that's it. We're done, we're connected. And now all we gotta do is just simply pull this puppy out. So, oh. Camera. When you're hauling a truck like this, or when you're hauling like this, you're supposed to disconnect the dry shaft from the truck. Again, I did not do that. So, we should probably do that before we damage the truck even more. Alright, now that we have the dry shaft disconnected, our lines are hooked up. So we shouldn't worry about losing the truck. And we're at, actually at perfect height. So, we are good to go. So them back tires is not that flat. They're flat, but they're not like riding on the rim type of flat. So that's a good thing. So we're just taking this up here to the shop, not that far from here in town. But this looks pretty good, don't it? It looks really nice going down the road. It's handling very nice. The truck's not, and the truck on the back isn't going crazy or anything. And the, you can feel the physics behind the truck having a load. But you can feel the truck having a load back there. And you can tell that you're hauling something. And you have to be a little bit careful if you're not. Now, you could do what I just did with these lines. Run the green and the blue to the frame or the front um, frame or axle underneath the truck. And it gives it the same concept that you have safety chains on it um, you're gonna use nods to tie the wheel down but that's gonna pop the tire if you're if you're not careful uh, I think it's probably best to probably okay hold on hold on hold on wait a minute <laughs> all right well I forgot about that okay let me get some chains out the truck and uh, all right, let me grab some chains real quick and see if we can tie this up. Let's see if we can tie this up real quick. All right, that wheel's off the ground. Just a little bit tighter. And especially the blue one. The blue one needs to be a little bit more tight. Since the thing, the wheel lift is broke on that side. All right, we're back on the road, boys. Don't worry, small inconvenience, but it don't stop us. You think that stopped TGR from hauling? No, it don't.
what is going on guys the gaming ram here and we are coming up on to a truck accident that had flipped over here in utah today we have a big heavy wrecker and we're going to be putting it to work here today the fire truck looked like they just put they they just got done putting out the fire the whole truck bur burst into flames and they just got the truck out so no more fire um, it separated the sleeper yeah the truck was hauling oversized rocks or boulders as you guys can see so the truck was a little overweight I guess they tried to make this turn real fast and yeah just gravity had other plans so here is the wreckage which this is a big Thing here because if the sleeper is separated from the truck we're gonna have to probably put it on a on a flatbed or something you know we're gonna probably get a second truck out here to load the fuel tanks on to because obviously I don't have a way to haul them so I'm gonna get into contact with a recovery company out here to bring a flatbed truck and uh, we are gonna wait for the fire department to finish up and we're gonna start doing our recovery here all right so uh flatbed just arrived so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be loading the fuel tanks onto this truck and any loose parts that this truck might have like here's a piece of an exhaust that's going to get loaded onto that truck um and we can't really do anything like boulders we can't load them yet we're going to have to wait till we get this trailer flip back over and so this is going to be a very difficult one because the way this recovery is going to have to go is I kind of want to flip it over as a one piece um, just because unhooking it, disconnecting the trailer, it's just not going to work out. And it's a lot easier to flip this over as just one big giant piece. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let me get these fuel tanks loaded up on here really quick. So we're gonna just have this truck I guess on standby and then we'll go and probably see if we can uh, load that we might have to load that cab on this truck. Doing <laughs> doing this with one truck might be difficult, so I might have to see if there's another heavy wrecker in the area to help me uh, help assist me um but we are gonna have to just wait and see i might have to get into that actual lane over here to be totally honest with you try not to knock my fuel tank off my truck all right let's see Where is the controls for the outriggers? Shift I. All right, let's get that back one down as well because we're going to need all the support that we can get because this this boom has to this boom is going to have to come up so let me look for a second put them down in the back all right and then we're going to have to to disconnect these and then we are ready for the actual 
I'm gonna lower that a little bit so that hooks don't get caught. All right, and now we're ready for the boom to go up, which is all eight. And then we gotta come out with it. So we're gonna do for the out for the boom to come in or out. There'll be aught and this. Let's put that boom all the way out. Because this is what I was saying. It's like this is gonna be pretty difficult to do this with one truck because in order for me to do this, and I gotta hook to just to flip the truck over itself, I got to have one, uh, the blue line got to go to the front axles, and then that green line has to go back here on this back drive axle. And you're not going to have any support for the trailer. Um, unless you could get, you know what, no, that's not going to, that's not going to work. I was going to say maybe if you was to get like a rollback, like a, like a small rollback tow truck to help out, but, um... I really need all the support, and in order to flip this trailer over, you're going to have to run an axle, or an axle, yeah, we're going to be running an axle to the axles. You're going to run a line to the drive, uh, to these back tandems here, and you're going to need another one, I think, somewhere up here to help support the tip, because you're going to flip this thing over, so... I'm going to hook these lines up, but I'm going to have to wait for another truck to come out here. So, let me see. This blue line is going to have to go out there to that axle in the front. So, we're going to connect this up here. Make sure you got a, a good one. So, that's going to go over there. And then this green line. I hope I didn't cross my line. Okay, I was going to say, I hope I didn't cross my lines. All right. And so, this green line is just going to go over here to this back axle. Uh, do, 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 here. So that's hooked there. That's gonna be hooked right over here. We got enough line. I hope so. Yeah, we do. All right, that's gonna be hooked back there. That's gonna help with when you're tipping this thing back over. And I don't know. I really. I just don't think it's gonna be enough with one truck. I'm, I'm really positive we're gonna need another truck. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we now have two heavy wreckers out here to, to do this whole job. All right, so now we have double the power. We are gonna to have to reposition this truck because they're going to be too close. So we're going to have to make sure that we pull our lines out a little bit. We need a lot of slack so we can move this truck. Okay, and then we got to bring up these... Uh... Outriggers a little bit. I forget every time that rear, them rear outriggers are shift you. All right, so good. Everything's off the ground, so. Not too much. Not too much. You don't want to be doing too much now. I think we want to rotate the boom here. Okay, let's try to get some pressure on that green line. So, let's go. That's the wrong line. I want it green. I'm thinking of uh, seven.
All right, let's get some more on that other truck. You gotta come with the truck here. Focus on that green line. A little bit of blue. What line I'm hooking? Uh, seven. Tighten up that green one. All right. I'm just gonna use this one for like extra support, but look at that angle. <laughs> That's why we have outriggers, baby. Well, actually, we didn't put the outriggers down. That's my bad. Whoops. My bad. We forgot to put down them outriggers. Uh, the outriggers for the side. Shift down is F. That's just straighten up our suspension. It lifts the whole truck off the ground there. But we're going to use that back one to help balance the truck a little bit better. So we want the rear one, so that will be shift and U. Not, not, not shift U. Uh, shift H. And we're going to put this one all the way down. There we go. So now that this truck is all the way off the ground, this is the inside, this is the look of the truck. We're coming along, as you guys can see, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a heck of a job of steel. It's empty, so it's not loaded, so that helps us out a lot, but uh, keep pulling on blue on this truck and we should get it to just flip right over. We got, slacking them lines on that truck over there so everything should line up perfectly keep pulling we're gonna pull uh, green i gotta have to pull both all right hold on it wants to be a little difficult right now so we're gonna have to probably rotate our boom kind of got stuck perfect just what we need is a stuck boom pull out slack on green green is our big problem right now so we're gonna use blue instead pull blue pull on blue That might be our one right there. All right, pull blue. A little difficult. We're gonna need a. We got the truck, but now we got a problem with the trailer. We're gonna have to disconnect. Um, the frame is an aluminum, and 
because the frame's aluminum, it's bent. Like, there's no getting this thing to flip. All it's doing is just bending the trailer, and so we have to disconnect the trailer from the truck. But the good news is we have the truck out of uh, out of the way, so we can start focusing on getting that. So I'm gonna get this truck unhooked, and we're gonna try to get the truck out of here. And then we're going to focus on getting this trailer out since we just got this truck. Since we have a second rotator here still. And we're going to clean up this one here. But boy, she wasn't budging because all it was doing was uh, bending the frame. So that was not good. I'll show you why. We're going to pull it. I'll just make sure we have enough line fed. Alright, that should be enough line for us. Alright, line is fed. I'm gonna tighten this thing up now. You don't need too much because what we're gonna do is just pretty much just simply pull it. There we go. Simple as one, two, three. All right, bring it on in. Bring it on in. And then we'll just do a quick hookup from the back just to get the truck out of here. Hooking up to dualies is a little bit more difficult than uh, the front wheels, but I think we got where my hook is caught bag on it. Come down a little more. All right, let's see if we got enough to wrap around it. I highly doubt it, but we're going to see. All right, that worked. It did work. Heck yeah. I was worrying that the dualies was going to be too big to wrap around. It kind of is, but we just got to move it out of the way. We still got to load a lot. We got a lot more work, though, to still to do. All right. We're going to leave this truck hooked up to it for now. Because I think we can actually flip it with just one truck. Because it's just a trailer. Before we can do that, we got to relieve pressure off the line. So let's go and relieve pressure off these lines real quick. And then we'll unhook. And then, realistically, yeah, we got to reposition. It's going to take some time, though. I'll be back. So we have this truck into position now about to get ready to hook up these lines here So the blue one has to go over here Since this whole thing's all twisted up. It's gonna be pretty hard It's gonna be a little difficult to get this all together, but blue line is this one right here So we're gonna take the blue and We have to run it somewhere 
up here. I'm thinking somewhere where the hydraulic boom used to be. Um, as you can see, it completely came. It's either, I'm pretty sure it broke the hydraulic pump. So we're going to hook it up here. We don't really have nowhere to really hook to really on, on this thing. Hmm. I tell you what we're gonna do let's hook up top then it might it's aluminum you got to remember so blue that's gotta go pretty far <laughs> that's that blue gotta go pretty far I might need to wind out more line for it hey look at that yeah yeah boy Heck yeah, boy. The frame is all messed up. It's all twisted. Like, as you guys can see, like, this whole thing is all messed up. You'd be lucky to get a chain to hold this up. We're going to have to figure something out. We're going to have to tie it down or some way. Because we can't haul it because it's going to drag the ground. So, we'll probably find a way to tie that up. Feet still work, so that's good. Alright, let's go and disconnect that line and put the truck back together. Alright, so now that we have everything back to its original state almost, we just have to load the uh, sleeper cab onto that flatbed so we'll do this really quick and then we can actually head out